Getting a successful first player plays a cool role in whether or not your opponent will succeed. There's many factors that play a role such as Z offset, layer height, extrusion width, and so on. But one of them is something you can't compensate for in software. Surface properties, or how well your bed adheres to the currently extruding print, which is one of the most painful and stressing parts of first layer adhesion. And today, we're going to be solving all of your bed adhesion issues with this super cheap and easy to make bed adhesive that beats almost all of the most expensive solutions. Welcome to another episode of Christmas 3D Printing. About four months ago, I was having terrible issues with bed adhesion on my work called VZBot. I tried printing nylon, only having trouble with bed adhesion on my spring steel PEI sheet. A few weeks of back and forward with common solutions like Captain, glue stick, and painter's tape didn't get me anywhere. So I decided to take matters into my own hands. I looked online on 3D printer adhesives. However, the only ones I could find were either super expensive or just rebranded solutions of already existing things. So, I researched. After a bit of digging, and you wouldn't guess this, inside the Aussie 3D printer space, a fellow maker called Maker Bogans had a recipe for something called 3D printer goop posted on his GitHub. He described it as an adhesive for 3D printer beds, so I went with it. And based on his recipe, I managed to make an amazing and super cheap bed adhesive that beats all the competition that's out there. And that for a fraction of the price. So. Let's not haggle around anymore and get right into how you can source the chemicals you need and make it yourself. The mixture really only consists of four easy components. Isopropanol, which most of you guys have laying around anyways. Distilled water, which you can buy for cheap at your local supermarket or hardware store. Polyvinyl alcohol, PVOH powder. And polyvinyl pyrolidone, PVP powder. Both of which are quite easy and cheap to source. But we'll get to that part later. So, with all that off to the side, let's get started with the mixture. First, let's get ourselves a container in which we mix all the components. I got myself a beaker. Then, we need to get a scale. Oh. We want to make around 200 milliliters of the mixture. Our ratio between the PVP and PVOH is 70% to 30%, and our ratio between water and isopropanol is 1 to 1. You can vary the amounts of PVP and PVOH you want to put in your solution, depending on what container you store it in. For example, for a spray bottle, you want a more less viscous and light fluid so that it doesn't get stuck in the spray bottle. If you're using it directly from the beaker, you can just make a more thick goop. But that's all up to you. In order to get started, let's put our container onto the scale and zero it out. For around 200 milliliters of our bed adhesive, I'm adding 10 grams of PVP and 2 grams of PVOH. So let's start with the PVOH. And the display shows 2 grams. Nice. One more, and we got 10 grams. Nice. To top it off, we're going to be adding 100 milliliters of isopropanol and 100 milliliters of water. Okay, we got the isopropanol. Now you can already see this mixture is turning cloudy, but there's still a lot of uh, dust at the bottom. Next, let's get our huge container of distilled water and pour it until we have around 200 and a bit more milliliters. It doesn't need to be exact, but it should be fairly accurate. That was a bit too much water, but we can count it out with some isopropanol. All right, now we got this mixture. The beaker is very full. Now we can take the spoon and stir the mixture around. Oh, 
there may be bubbles coming from the beaker, but just ignore that, just keep stirring. Okay, the mixture is pretty much done. There's barely any particles in here. There are only a few, and with a bit more stirring, I'll get them out in a bit. But for now, we're done. Last thing we want to do is remove our spoon and clean it off of our adhesive. Watch out, um, the paper towel and spoon here, they could be a bit sticky already. You might have to clean it with water later, but that's no issue. You can reuse the spoon for eating. This is generally food safe stuff, so it's not toxic. Okay, let's get the beaker off the scale and get the scale off the tape. Let's discuss containers. So I want to use the spray bottle. You could also use something like this to disperse it or uh, from China, you can buy pens so you can put it on your beds. Those are very convenient, but I will be using the sprayer. So let's open the sprayer bottle. Let's get our beaker ready and pour. Okay, now we got all the goop poured into our sprayer. Lastly, we'll just put on our lid and wait, basically, we're good to go. But wait, we forgot something. To make anything 10 times more pretty, just add a Christmas 3P sticker. Quote, uh, someone. Now, just put it on there. I would say, we're done. We now have this beautiful bed adhesive, which will last us up for hundreds and hundreds of uses. You can use this as nylon, polycarbonate, PTG, PLA, P even polypropylene filament. This stuff will make stick. I've tried it all. Now you can apply this adhesive to your 3D printer bed of choice. I like spraying it on and spreading it around with a spatula, or alternatively, a towel that doesn't soak too much. Once the adhesive is applied and you heat your bed, it will turn into a sticky and solid layer. Any material will love sticking to it. And once your bed cools down for a print, the glue will let go of your parts nicely. You can use this glue on any bed surface, but especially glass, PI, and G10 or FR4 profit from this, making them stick amazingly. To clean your adhesive off, just rinse your bed off under the sink or clean it using paper towels and isopropyl alcohol, because it's water soluble. Finally, let's get to sourcing. The polyvinyl alcohol was fairly easy to buy. I googled where to buy PVOH, and I found a restoration web store that sold PVOH amongst their products for only 350 per 100 grams. So I just decided to buy 300 grams because shipping was added onto that. The PVP was a bit more tricky. All the websites had it for sale either for only business customers or insane prices. However, I found a listing for PVP K30 on AliExpress for only 16 euros for a whole 500 grams of it. I decided to buy it, not actually thinking I'd receive anything. But fortunately to myself, the PVP was at my doorstep only 3 weeks later. And it works great for this adhesive. This is more PVP than I'd ever need, but it was worth it. Sourcing it yourself, however, for both chemicals, I recommend locally in your country. Look up buying it on Google. And if you can find anything for a proper price, Alibaba and AliExpress usually have you covered. Now, I hope you make this adhesive yourself and have amazing bed adhesion. I left links on where I bought the chemicals on a separate article on my blog. The link is in the description. In case you want to buy the adhesive or chemicals from me directly, I sell lower quantities. The article also contains instructions on how to contact me, and I can send you just the right amount you need. If you'd like to support my efforts to keep these recipes open and free for anyone in the maker community, please subscribe to my YouTube and like and share this video with as many 3D printing enthusiasts as you know. They will thank you for it. Thanks for watching, have a good day, and happy printing. This was Christmas 3D printing. See you in the next one.